Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Here with me, the author of the Recruiter Guy's Guide to Finding a Job, Recruiter Guy, Bill Humbert. Thanks, Joe. How are you, sir? I'm well, yourself. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, and I, you know, I'm telling you the truth right there. I didn't lie. Good. Yeah, That's good. I'm doing good. Yeah. I it, this is that. what we're talking about, though, is yeah. lying. People do occasionally lie, even on their resume, which I'm not sure is a real good plan because. Are you held to the, I guess this is the question I got to ask out of the gate. Are you held to the same accountability you are as if you lie on an application? Absolutely. So there's legal ramifications here. Oh yeah, you know, a company can fire you if they found that you lied on your resume. I saw a kid get arrested at my job one time for lying on his resume. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, they pressed charges because there was that, that clause at the bottom. You know? Wow, so, I can't imagine what that lie must have been. I know, right? <laughs> Pretty impressive stuff. But that's, uh, seriously, people do it. I mean, even Steve Masiello, and you need to tell a story because not everybody is familiar with it, uh, the football coach. Tell, tell us about that. His uh, basketball coach, or was a basketball football, coach, yeah, yeah, basketball. at uh, Manhattan, and had a great run there, and University of South Florida um, extended him an offer, it was over a million dollar offer per year, and he lied on his resume about graduating from the University of Kentucky. Wow. And of course, University of South Florida did the background investigation, and that's like the easiest thing people can find. That one? Yeah. <laughs> that's easier than finding out if you work somewhere. Exactly. College just keep real good records. Yes, they do. And, and so the offer was rescinded, and now he's suspended, last I heard, from Manhattan because they're going, well, hey, how did we miss that? Wow. So he might be out of a job completely. Yeah, he's gonna have to go to college. He's gonna have to finish up <laughs> if he wants to keep it on the resume. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. All right, so tell us about some of the, you know, the, the lies that people tell and as a, jo a job seeker, why we shouldn't. Well, let's, you know, let's go right back to lying about your college degree. Okay. Um, you know, as we already mentioned, it's the easiest thing to check. <laughs> right. And if you don't have, if you're two credits short, you didn't graduate. Yeah. It's simple. And I, you know, over the years, I've been doing this since 1981. And over the years, every once in a while, we catch somebody who's lying on a resume about their degree. And many times the company goes, they didn't have to have a degree for this job. And if they hadn't lied, we would have got it. They would have gotten it. But now we have to rescind the offer. Wow. So it's just not a good thing to do. Where are some of the places other than that that people, you see people lie? Where does this happen on a resume? Um, sometimes <coughs> a Excuse person me. leaves one company and then they go to another company. Okay. Um, and there is a month or two months in the between. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they'll try to narrow that gap by saying, okay, well, mid-February of 2010, I left this job and started this one mid-February. Well, in fact, it was mid-January when they left and it was mid-March when they started. And companies tend to keep good records too. Right. <laughs> and so in the background investigation, it pops up. And uh, there is uh, one company that was a client of mine out in Baltimore. And they, um, they said, you know what? This is just a little thing. But if they'll lie on a little thing. What else will they do? What else will they lie on? Wow, especially if you're dealing with monies and things like that, this becomes very important. It very, well, it's, it's important either way. It's integrity right? and it's honesty. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, when an employer is looking at an application or resume, what are some of the telltale signs to let them know that maybe something is not quite right, something s smells in Denmark? Um, you know, a lot of times when you look at the resume, yeah you'll see statements about responsibilities. Well, sometimes those statements don't match up with a job description title. Okay. Um, or sometimes it just seems like maybe some of what they put might be inflated. And so it's really important to understand that as you're looking at a resume, what are you looking at? You're looking at that person's background as they're stating it. And you build your information, your uh, interview, and during your interview, you can start going after and probing the specific yeah. areas that look a little fishy. That's interesting. All right, so uh, when people embellish on their income, who tends to do that the most? Sales guys, typically. Yeah? <laughs> it's interesting because the sales guys will um, sometimes, I mean, you know, anytime you make a generalization, it's yeah. not good. But 
If there's any group that's going to do it, in my experience, it has been the sales folks who have commission income. And, I, you know, I'm not sure exactly what their rationale is, but it may be, well, if this one deal would have gone through, I would have then made that amount of wow. money. Wow. You know? Uh, and so one way of helping to, if you get a sense that the person's income might seem inflated, just ask for their W-2. There you go. You can just check it out. And it's right there. All right, so when people are, are, are looking at the resume and they're preparing it, uh, what's an interesting place that you typically might you know, not expect someone to lie? And it's probably not really a good one anyway. You know, Joe, um, that's a good question. Yeah. Because that's the counterintuitive lie. Yeah, that's right? There's some it. of these that don't <laughs> yeah. make sense. No. Why, why would you do this? Well, yeah. you know, today there's still so many people out of work. And right. some of them are very, very well qualified. Yeah. And sometimes what they may be tempted to do is dumb down their resume. Okay. Instead of being a CFO, maybe they're a finance person, you know, financial analyst. Um, and so they're just doing that to get a job because they've been told 14 times already that you're overqualified for this job. And it could be a person, you know, maybe it was a CFO for a major company and all they want to do is be a financial analyst. You know, they're past climbing the corporate ladder. Right. They just want to be a financial analyst, so that's what they put on their resume. But in a, in a manner of speaking, that's actually a lie, too. Wow. Are there other ways that people lie about their experience? Uh, another counterintuitive one is, yeah. um, and it's interesting, on the East Coast you don't see it as much, on the West Coast you don't see it as much, but in the middle of the country you see it more. And that's people who are afraid that they're bragging about their experience, their accomplishments. And so sometimes they'll let those accomplishments leave them off of their resume. And that's not malicious, really, but you know, at the same time, this is a marketing piece for you, too. It's going to be right. used. The, the interview is going to be based on a lot of what you say in here. And so if you don't have accomplishments on there, it could leave you out in the offer time. Now, it's not lying to leave certain jobs off if you want to focus on certain areas, right? If you've had more than maybe, maybe you have two jobs at the same time or something, but your area of focus for this next one doesn't include one of them. It's okay to leave that off? Uh, I generally I would suggest that you, you know, it depends. It depends on where that job falls. You know, on my resume, the work experience that I have prior to 1981, sure. I just kind of put in one sentence, you know, prior to this, I, I did. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, That's a good way to put that. Yeah. So it's just keep it simple. That's the best thing. Yeah. And keep it honest, keep right? Keep it honest. And I do have one thing that's really important for job seekers. Okay. And that is, it's not good to lie to a recruiter guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't dare. I dare some to lie to a recruiter guy. Recruiter guy, Bill Humbert, the, guy, the book is The Recruiter's Guide. Recru recruiter's guy, Guide to Finding a Job. I can't say it. Hi, recruiter Guy's Guide, guide to, to Finding, finding a job. job. Thank yep. you for saying Pretty, it for me. Yep, you're quite welcome. All right, and uh, we'll be back with more right here on the Mountain Morning Show, including Art and Soup and more after this.